Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Um, in this little screencast, as you can see, I'm using Linux again. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to set your desktop up to act something like um, Macromedia Streamweaver. And what do I mean by that is allowing you to have your FTP on, on your side like this and then having your editor on somewhere else. but yeah, so the basic things I'm going to be using is Gedit and Natalis. They both um, come in, come shipped with GNOME um, by default, so you don't need the tools. Now, I tried to use Scream, but uh, that's highly unstable and this crashes all the time, so I, I don't even bother with it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is um, click on your places. Oh, icon here. Uh, let's see if I can. I don't have my thing set up. Anyways, yeah, just go ahead and click on your places, and then click um, click on a connect to server, and then you're gonna fill out your basic FTP. But before you do that, make sure you um, select your service type, and use FTP with login. So the server I'm gonna connect to is shab.com. The ports by default is 21. The folder I'm using is shop. Now, for most people, it's usually public caps, public underscore HTML slash, and then whatever files. For me, um, I have set up my own FTP, so it's shop. Here's the name I'm using is shop, and um, name for this connection you can just leave alone. Uh, this just names the like it's going to name the folder name, so. I can just have it with SHA and click connect. As you see on the desktop, I made a nice um, folder here named SHA. Now I'm going to go ahead and scale this. So make this nice and big. Let's go ahead and go over here. And go ahead and open this. Now, as you can see, it actually opens up. Files my FTP server. Um, the view you probably usually have is something like this, and it's not as listed as icons. So you get something like this. Um, you can go ahead and just remove that and then go to view and view as list, and then go ahead and resize your, your items. Um, so, yeah. This is apparently as small as my window gets here right here. And then I had right click on my any file I have. And as you can see I have a screen HTML XML editor, but instead we open with text editor. Oh. And then it opens up with gedit. Now gedit actually has syntax highlighting for HTML, PHP, Python, ASP and so on. Um so it's fairly simple. As you see, I can drag and it opens up with tab and stuff. It's way better than Notepad on Windows. Um, and uh, yeah, I, can, I, I already have by default I am Joseph. Or hello, I'm Joseph. And I can go ahead and just delete this and say hello world. Which I can't spell right now. And if I save it, if you saw a little thing pop up, it is saved to my FTP real quick. And I can go to my Mozilla refresh my page and then I get hello world so yeah that's the basic setup it's really simple and um, something I enjoy because it's something I miss with uh, just using Windows it's just by itself Macromedia's site manager and I can always go to um, file and connect to a different server um, and then just have this a list of many servers to have on here and edits as I would edit. And that's pretty much it for the screencast. Oh, yeah. If you can't, um, if you're using gedit and you can't um, actually save it or anything, you're only opening as read um, as read only. Then go ahead and let's go ahead and get a new window here. Go to desktop. Go to your terminal, and then type in gcuff dash editor. That's just a uh, gconfiguration editor. 
then go ahead and navigate to your apps and then go to gedit dash two then go to preferences then go to editor then you find me select save and then you click on writable via VFS schemes and as soon as this thing highlights here because it's really slow with um, There we go. You edit key, and then it might have SFTP by default. So just go ahead and click Add, and then type in FTP, and then OK, and then go ahead and edit for X. Uh, here, and we can go back, and then you should be able to actually edit your files. So yeah, that's that should be the end of the screencast. Because, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Oh, now it asked you my password. Um, and then I'll try to modify... Oh, sorry. I'll try to modify um, my screencast next time. Or redo it, whatever. Yeah.